Hi, I'm Roy from my mentor, and welcome to the first look at version 330. This version expands the foundation of Editor V4 Alpha, making it more powerful, intuitive, and bringing it closer to real-world use. We're talking about professional-grade class management, clear styling insights, workflow improvements that save you time every day, and essential editing capabilities. Plus, we're broadening cloud templates to support full website templates, so you can reuse complete website designs across all your sites. Let's dive in. Elementor's Editor V4 is a reimagined CSS-first editing experience that gives you more control, better performance, and a smoother workflow. The first alpha version introduced reusable classes and states, a unified style tab, and full responsive control but the new update gives you even more. To activate Editor V4 features, first, make sure you update it to the latest Elementor version. Then, from the WordPress dashboard, go to Elementor Settings, where you'll see the Editor V4 tab. Click Activate, you'll be guided through a few confirmation steps, and that's it, you can start building with V4. At this point, recommend trying Editor V4 features only on staging and test sites, not on production. Okay, so the first set of features are for class management and styling control. Classes allow you to create reusable style collections and apply them across elements with ease. Update a class once and it's instantly applied to all elements using that class, site-wide. But in the previous version, class names were auto-generated in the code output, making it difficult for you to recognize your intended classes in browser dev tools and possibly breaking compatibility with external tools. With this version, class names appear in your code exactly as you define them. This makes debugging and working with custom CSS significantly easier. Let me show you what I mean. I'll select a button and add a class named button. Now, I'll inspect the element. You can see the exact class name, button, in the HTML. No more hashes or dynamic names. Now, if I add a second class, both names will appear clearly. There, button and secondary button. For those of you working with multiple contributors or stakeholders, this version introduces role-based class permissions, allowing you to share classes with others while being able to limit their control. Here, I'm currently logged in as an editor. I'll select an element and go to the Style tab. I can still apply any existing class from the dropdown, and I can, of course, adjust local styles as usual. But notice, I can't edit the global class, only the local. And I'm seeing a message explaining that only admins can make changes to the class. I also don't have access to the class manager. In this case, I'm an editor, but the same goes for contributors, authors, and store managers. Only the WordPress admin can create global classes and make changes in the class manager. This keeps your classes safe while still letting others work within your design system. Already in the previous version, when working with classes, next to any styled property, we saw a small dot. Pink for local classes, green for global, gray for inherited, and orange for conflicts. These color cues help us get a clear overview of the design system we're building. But now, when I click the dot, I get a popover showing the style origin, its name, breakpoint, and even the interaction state. Plus, when I collapse style groups, I'll also see dots on the group labels, signaling which ones contain class-based styles. Complex styling made crystal clear. The next two features are all about improving your workflow. So, in V3, switching between elements means constant renavigation. It's one of those things you might not even notice you're spending time on. Panels reset to general tabs, style sections collapse, and even in the previous V4 version, the class selections reverted to local every time. But now, Editor V4 saves everything, which tab I'm on, which section was open, and which class I was editing. Watch this. I'll select the heading, open the Style tab, add a class, and expand typography. Now I'll click the image and do something else. When I return to the first element, everything is just where I left it and back, a major workflow boost, saving time and keeping you focused. Now for a small update that can save you valuable time, smart unit typing, allowing you to type in units and values directly from your keyboard, no dropdowns or extra clicks. Here, I want to change my padding. Traditionally, I would type in the value and select the unit in the dropdown. 
but now I can simply type in 16px for top and bottom and 48px for the sides directly. It works instantly. 0 ATM, 10%, whatever I need. And if I type something invalid like 40 ABC, it reverts to the last valid input. Simple, fast, and intuitive. Video content drives modern web experiences, and now Editor V4 includes a dedicated YouTube element built from the ground up with full V4 capabilities, allowing you to add engaging videos to your new V4 pages and continuing Editor V4's journey towards a complete professional toolkit. As you can see, just like the other V4 Atomic elements, we have two tabs in optimized controls. Only what you need, yet nothing short of the V3 video widget with all your essential player controls. Start and end time, autoplay and loop, plus the ability to change the aspect ratio. But behind the scenes, this element is doing even more. It's built with a modern JavaScript handler for clean addition and removal from your page. Next, let's look at the core editor tools you already know, now rebuilt for v4. In the general tab, you'll see an ID field. In the style tab, you'll see a custom unit option for your spacing and size settings clear icons next to each property, a display none setting, anchor offset for sticking navigation, aspect ratio controls, object fit and position options. And for text elements, we now also have columns, all available and all consistent with the editor v4 experience. Okay, so now, stepping out of Editor v4 and onto a powerful new pro feature for working across multiple sites. In version 3.29, we introduced cloud templates, allowing you to save sections and pages to the cloud and reuse them across any of your sites. In version 3.30, this evolves beyond individual design elements and into complete website structures. You can now easily clone and replicate full website templates, sections, styles, settings, media, and configurations, all packed for consistent deployment across your projects. Let's go to the WordPress dashboard, Elementor, Tools, click the Website Templates tab, and export this website. I'll name it, and then I can choose what to export, pages, settings, content, as well as which plugins to include. Finally, I choose to save it to the cloud. Now, I'll switch to a different site, click Import from Library, and from the My Website Templates tab, I can apply my template. In just a few clicks, the full design is live and ready to go, providing a seamless infrastructure for growth. It's an incredible time saver for freelancers and for agencies working across multiple projects. So, that's Elementor 330. Update now, try out the new features, and let us know what you think in the comment section below. I'm Roy from Elementor, and I can't wait to see what you create next.